Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So um, yeah, getting into a bit, a bit of a habit uh, recording on a Friday now. So it just seems to be a little bit easier for me. I've not done a pickups for um, a few weeks. I think I, I basically combined um, Marches and Aprils in one video, but I bought a fair bit in May. So um, I thought, right, crack on, sh share everything with you guys. Um, it's been yeah, busy month. So. Um, did a little bit of charity shopping and I picked up a copy of, I don't know if you can see that, it's a big box um, PC game, Civilization 2, um, Test and Time. Um, I've not really played any of these games, but I've been playing quite a lot of the laptop that I um, have basically messed around with and uh, just saw this and you don't see many uh, big box PC games anymore, do you? So, so it's got that in there, and it's got some uh, some books. <laughs> um, it's got like a, I don't know even. You just get so much stuff in big box stuff, don't you? So, and it's got uh, a poster as well. I think that's a poster. So just like everything complete. One ninety nine in a charity shop. I was just passing, and um, I was there for the opticians actually. So I needed to go to a new opticians, and um, the charity shop was in uh, this village that I've not. I mean, I know where it is, obviously, but I just don't really go there very often. And now I know that it's there, I might go back. So yeah, so Civilization Two, big box edition, which was uh, yeah. A very welcome find. Um, so I'm just going to literally plough through all of this because I don't want the video to be too long. So um, I got a copy of um, Cuphead on the Nintendo Switch. This is the limited edition version. It's quite big, although quite thick, should I say, um, because I think there's a little character in there. Um, but it's not that big for a Switch game, really. Uh, like it fits the Switch um case in there i would think i've not even opened it so it was only 18 quid so i picked this up for 18 quid um game we're just selling them off and um, i think i must have got the very last one um so I, I shared the link with a couple of the lads in one of the groups i'm in and they're like yeah it's gone and i was like i'm really sorry <laughs> i must have just literally got the last one so yeah quite pleased with that i've still not finished the game um Sadly, I, I, I remember um, playing it digitally on the PS4, um, actually Heaps, uh, Heapso Games. Uh, he was running a competition, gosh, must have been about two years ago now. And he gave away, I think it was like 30 or 40 quid's worth of uh, PSN money, like PlayStation Store money. And I think I won one. And I think Game Culture won the other one. Um, and that's how I won basically I spent the money on Cuphead because he was doing Cuphead at the time so um, so I played it didn't get very far but I really enjoy the game so yeah for 18 quid why wouldn't you pick it up so also picked up a few other bits and pieces um, in the same village in fact uh, but a different shop it was like a cat shop uh, cat protection I think and um, just goes to prove they have no games and I just asked behind the counter oh have you got any video games and she came out with this you know, big box I was like oh, flipping heck you know so they had um, a special edition of um, F1 2017 with this cardboard sleeve um, and I've not played an F1 game since it was like F1 on the PS1 do you remember the Murray Walker commentary stuff so, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to give it a go at some point. So I picked that up. I think it was like a pound, pound 50 maybe. Um, they also had the Uncharted collection there for, I think that was a pound 50. And what else did they have? They had, here it is, um, No Man's Sky, which I think when it came out didn't do all that well. But I think now it's had a lot of like development and stuff. And yeah, I think it's um, I think it's a decent game now. From what I've heard, I'll give it a try. So yeah, like they're like I think they were like a pound, a pound fifty maybe each in in the cat shop. So again, <laughs> can't grumble. Um, 
and then I also picked up online um, because everybody's kind of going Fallout mad um, and I just followed this on eBay it's the Fallout 4 Steelbook um, and there was a, a seller and he must have had loads of them um, there's no game included um, but I've got a few copies already but it's just a steel book with a, a rip it's nice artwork it'll sit nice on the shelf when i do get everything back out of storage uh, and it's got these um sealed they're like postcards so yeah and and i just i watched it and then he came back with an offer for like i think it was like three pounds or something so i thought you know fine and that included the postage so you know, he's not made much on that, but he had loads of them. And then I also got from a different seller. I know it's, I don't, I've heard bad things about it, but I thought, you know, this was like a fiver, I think I paid, Gollum, on, and this was included, inclusive of postage as well, I think. So it's only about five, five, just, it was a, a, just under six quid, I think, something like that. Um, and it's the Gollum game on PS5. Um, so again, still sealed. I don't know if I'll get a chance to play it, but... You know, for like a five, or what are you going to do? You know, so yeah, I don't think it did very well. I don't think it's done very well. He was, again, a guy, he had loads and loads of copies, like probably a reseller picked a, a pallet of them up, probably. But um, yeah, you know, a few quid. So I also picked up, I say I picked up, um, the wife picked up um, <laughs> Austin Powers collection um, and I'm sure she picked this up a little while ago. I just didn't show it last month. I think, I think I forgot. Or maybe she picked it up at the very beginning of May. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Austin Powers. Who doesn't like Austin Powers, you know? So, And my lad, I enjoy watching the older films with him. He's not seen them. So it's got, like, all three of the films there. It shows on the back. So that'll be a good laugh watching them with him. And then um, my wife also, just today... She went out to um, just a few charity shops with our youngest. Um, our youngest has really got the charity shop bug. Um, and they just spotted these. So I've been doing a few PC games recently. Uh, so there's Diablo. Uh, we've got Starcraft. And we've got uh, Warcraft 2 .net edition. Um, I think they were like... I don't know what she paid, maybe a pound each. So she got them just today. I don't know. I don't know if they're any good. I did actually, I did buy a PC. Um, saw something on Facebook Marketplace um, and they only wanted a few quid for it. I said, oh, would you, you know, would you take, I think I paid like a tenner in the end. And he was like, yeah, just, you know, I want it gone really. Um, so I went and picked it up. I'll, I'll include a picture here if I can remember. Uh, if I've got a picture um, to show, um, and a PC just looks like a P like a tower, really, doesn't it? And you know the monitor and that. Anyway, I showed it to a mate, Andy, who works with computers, and he was like, "Yeah, can you get your tenner back? <laughs> it's like literally worthless." So um, I, I might take it to the tip or so. It's literally like just not very good. Although he did say it might run some of the older like 2D type games. You might get it to run Doom, maybe Half-Life, um, but not very well, you know. So I might keep it. I was, maybe I'll, I'll well, again, when I get space, I'll maybe try and run um, like Football Manager or something, or a Championship Manager as it was back in the day. So we'll see how we go. Um, what I'll probably end up doing actually is um, I, I've been looking into it and on that laptop I've been running stuff um you can buy like an external cd uh rom drive basically you know what i think they're like 10 or 15 quid on amazon so i might just get one of those maybe um so yeah so with that said i did also pick up from a charity shop uh, oblivion game of the year edition so and it's got um it's got the, the two discs with all the dlc which is amazing to have all the dlc on a disc, it's not you don't have to download it, and it's got the the manual and the um, the, the poster map as well. So I think it was only I think it was eighty p from a charity shop, 
So, and I've got from the, the same charity shop, actually, years ago, I bought the book that's like the, um, the strategy guide, big, thick book. Um, so yeah, years later, this might have, who knows, might have been the same person throwing it out years later. So yeah, ATP, happy with that. So I then also, I think I got this, I think this was on eBay as well, a copy of Gord on um, the PS5. Um, it's a bit like a real-time strategy game. Um, I got it for, I think I paid 15 quid for this. So hopefully I get time to play it. A little bit on the back there about the game. So I'm just having to hold it at an angle because of the reflection <laughs> from, uh, I'm in the shed again, as you can see, just, just so easy and convenient to film in the summer house. So, uh, but yeah, I've got the uh, the little electric light thing so you can see me a bit better. So that's Gord on the PS5. Um, I then picked up a copy of Expendables 2. And honestly, I only picked this up for the case because we have, oh, there's the ice cream van. You couldn't make it up, could you? <laughs> so um, yeah. I, um, I don't know that picking up on the um, speaker, it probably is. But um, yeah, basically, I um, I picked this up for the case. We've got a copy of um, Enemy Mine, and uh, the case is completely like knackered. So I picked this up. And then these were, all, all four of the films were on Amazon, I think it was at the moment. So I ended up watching all four films while the missus was away for the weekend, so I got the kids off to bed and, and then just watched one of them every night while she was away. And um, the first and the second one were okay, um, the third and the fourth, not so much. So, <clears throat> for my, so it was my birthday month as well, um, my mum got me a copy of Aliens Dark Descent. I'm a really big Aliens fan, so i um, been playing a few Aliens games over the years as you do and had my eye on this so thanks very much mum um yeah got this one and then also probably about the beginning of the month um i put a thing in one of the groups and um gib84 i'll put a link in the description below to gib's channel or gordon uh, as we know him uh, and he sent me a, all of these um, Wii U games and wanted nothing for them. Um, I tried to sort of um, sort him out. I think, he, I, I can't remember, I think basically his brother had found them, I don't know, like in the loft or something and he didn't really want them. So he just said, look, just have them. So he sent them and it accidentally sent me a Wii game that he needed. So then he resent this separately, Deus X, which I don't think I've ever played. So I have to put that, there it is. So it goes in that case. So thanks ever so much, um, Gordon, mate. That's just really nice of you. And um, my lad, um, <clears throat> we went through them all on the ones that he wanted. So I'm collecting uh, the, the Wii U stuff with my son as it was his first ever console. Master System, of course, my first ever console, but we're kind of done on that set now. Um, so yeah, uh, these will go really nicely in his collection with the other stuff that he's got. He was dead chuffed. So yeah, thanks ever so much, mate. Really nice of you. So yeah, we've got um, Bayonetta, Bayonetta 2, Yoshi's Woolly World, Deus Ex, of course, Splatoon, um, Super Smash Bros, Pokemon Tournament, and Xenoblade Chronicles X. So yeah, um, all good games, I think, and I'll give them a go with him. Uh, when we get chance. So only a few more bits left now, guys. Um, we've got uh, my buddy Mark put in another group. Um, does anybody want any of these? I'd never played Flight Simulator, and that was the one I really fancied. And then he said, "Oh, do you want these as well?" I don't actually remember. So there's Civilization. Is that four? So I don't even remember saying that one, but. He's put it in anyway, so thanks ever so much, mate. And then Rise of Nations, which I hadn't heard of, but again, Andy in the chat said, oh, that's a good game. So Mark said, oh, do you want to give it a go? You know, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll try it, absolutely. So I've not played Rise of Nations before. So I'll give these a go 
when I get a um, chance to order a um, like a, a, an external disk drive for the laptop, basically. Um, but it, yeah, very much Flight Simulator was the one I wanted to give a go. So we'll see how we get on with that one. Thanks ever so much, Mark, mate. And then lastly, um, had something arrive just today. I'm gonna show it, because I don't think my wife, I bought it for my wife. I don't think she'll watch this though. So we've had the, I don't know if you can see that, it's quite big, uh, but we've had Baldur's Gate 3, the physical European version arrive just today. Um, I'm not gonna open it, because it's not mine to open. Well, we're gonna, basically, I bought it, so it'll be for a birthday, which is still a way off, to be honest. Um, but it's for both of us because you can play it split screen. So, um, so yeah, and that's that's everything, guys. So just a, a quick run through um, this month of everything that I bought. Um, if uh, you in, if, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, I really enjoy reading everybody's comments. So pop some comments on your thoughts of what I've got, what you think of some of the games because I've I've not played certainly all those PC games uh, and and the Wii U games. I've not tried them before. Um, but yeah, uh, with that said and done, thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.